Hello and welcome to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Claudia Nari, and on here we talk about various fragrances that are in my collection. I hope you have been watching this series. Uh, it has actually been a lot of fun for me because it gives me an opportunity to actually go through my collection and see what I have. Um, and I've been enjoying talking about it. A couple of them I feel like I need to add uh, to my rotation because they've kind of been sitting in the back of my collection. If you have not uh, caught the earlier versions of this series, it is in the description uh, under full fragrance collection. Click on the um, playlist and that way you can get all caught up. But to each and every one of y'all who've been rolling with me each and every day as we have been trying to uh, get through my collection, thank you, thank you, thank you. I will not hold you. I wanted to continue to go on, but I wanted to make sure that you are subscribed, that you turn on your notification, because even though these videos are coming up every single day, normally I post maybe two times a week. Hope you are having as much fun as I am. Let's keep going. Stay tuned. Okay, I want to start off with my uh, Angel U Corsair uh, 2019. Uh, I, like, I'm, I don't know if I mentioned it or not, but this one does not stand up on its own. So, uh, I have it sitting on a stand. But this is when they took Angel and they added mango and sherbet to it. So, it's mango, sherbet, praline, uh, pineapple and vanilla so i had to put it with my tropical fragrances or i reach for it when i think of tropical fragrance for the mere fact it is is that is like a tropical drink it's very beautiful my only uh downfall or should i say take away from this fragrance is the fact that it doesn't stand up i don't really like having my fragrances lay on their side uh so i do have a stand uh when i got it they were still selling the stand and so I did get a stand for it. Um, but honestly, uh, gorgeous fragrance. So I wanted to start off with that one first. Now, if you're looking for a nice cheapy, but yet uh, gorgeous pineapple fragrance, you have to go with Crazy Pineapple. Now, this is by Alexandria. You have to like pineapple. It can't be one that you're just thinking about. Mm, I kind of wish I had a little pineapple. No, you have to like pineapple because this is pineapple strong. It's a very strong pineapple fragrance. I use this one a lot to layer with other fragrances. I want to add a little more like fruitiness, tropicalness to. The notes in this is uh, pineapple, green apple. And the, it says it has patchouli, but all I smell is pineapple and green apple. That's, that's all I smell when I wear it. It does have some citrus notes to it, uh, but it's very heavy in pineapples, hence the name Crazy Pineapple. Um, I can't think of what it's duping right now. I want to say Havoc, but I'm not sure. I'm not sure what it was duping. Um, I, I don't remember. <laughs> I just remember that I did enjoy it, so I got it. Uh, and at times, you know, it could be it could be a little strong for me too. The next one in my tropical section is going to be Forbidden Games by Killian. Uh, Forbidden Games is it just yeah, I really like these. Uh, peach, apple, plum. So it's another one of those kind of like a drink. Uh, it has bur um, bourbon in it, honey, vanilla. It's it's a really fruity, it's a really fruity, uh, beautiful fragrance. So if you like apple, if you're into plum notes, uh, but the combination together is what have uh, has it where I don't exactly have it in plum, and I don't exactly have it in apple, right? Uh, because the combo is more like a daiquiri type note smell to it. So that's why I have it with my tropicals. Uh, but it's another one of the, um, you know, I always say fragrances are subjective. If uh, you were doing your collection like I'm doing mine, you really could put it in any one of those spots. You could put it in peach, uh, like a more peachy 
uh, area, which is where I have it because of tropical. You can put it with apple. You can add it with plum uh, because those are the pr uh, primary notes. So you will, you can really put this one anywhere. This one here I got at Glamcation when I went uh, last year. And that is Accident La Vanille Madeleine de Pousse. It is really pretty. That's another one of apricots, you know. Uh, once I decide to kind of enhance my apricot fragrances, I probably will move this one out of tropical and add it to a section for apricots. Um, I want to say so far, I'm noticing that I have three apricot fragrances and I just don't feel like that's enough to give it its own section. But once I get more apricot fragrances, I probably will uh, section this off where um, all the apricot fragrances are together. Uh, because that apricot note, even in this one, is really good. And I think that's, uh, that is really why I think I want to really get into apricot. I don't know if you all do that, but you start smelling a note and the notes just become something that you just, um, you crave, like you want it, right? Well, that's where I'm at with apricot. Um, so I'm going to probably go to Scent Split and order me some samples uh, to figure out where or what apricot fragrances I want. And when I order the samples, of course, I'm going to do a video. I'm going to tell y'all about them. But this is a really pretty one um, by Dressette. Next one is another one of those gorgeous bottles, right? It's Lamar. And uh, Lamar is pineapple, red berries, apple, uh, Bulgarian rose, Turkish rose. I, I love the scent. Um, there's a fellow YouTuber on here that Lamar is just not, <laughs> it is not for her. Like she do not like Lamar, right? And I get that, you know, it could be a little too fruity, too much for somebody because it is pineapple strong. And I, if I'm not mistaken, I want to say I bought Lamar off of someone who um, was like a fragrance lover and, and they just didn't like it anymore. So it was there. Uh, they didn't want it, but I wanted it and I got it at a good price. So I went ahead and got it. But I, I truly do enjoy Lamar. Um, it's one of my go-tos when I want to have on like a tropical fragrance. If I want to kind of have a beachy fragrance, um, I do reach for this one. This is Wild Candy. Wild Candy is like a like a bunch of Jolly Ranchers all put together. <laughs> That's what it is to me when I think of it. It's like a bunch of Jolly Ranchers because it has uh, fruity notes in it. It has uh, the predominant for me is the frangipani, the Turkish rose, and the fruity notes. It does say that it has chocolate in it. I don't really smell that. It says it has salt in it. I don't really smell that. I really smell like a basically like a bowl of skittles or a bowl of jolly ranchers open jolly ranchers okay this one here is candy rose and that's like a like a like a sweet rose basically uh by montal it's a really fruity rose it has uh lechi uh lech um lechi in it it has um raspberry black currant, uh, patchouli, and vanilla in it, and orange blossom. I I get the sweetness of the rose in it, so it could be, it could fall under rose if you was putting in a different category. It could fall under black currant if you put it in a different category. But for me, because of all the fruitiness that came with it, uh, it was tropical to me. It, it reminded me of like a dessert. Um, like a, it does, like I said, it does have some chocolate, not enough for me to say that it's a chocolate fragrance, but it does have some chocolate in it. You always hear me talk about pink mahogany, how it all started was from this fragrance right here. Pink mahogany, when I first got into that line, it was Paz Encore Nome. This was the most beautiful pineapple fragrance that I had ever smelled. Like I really loved it. And it was so simple. It's pineapple, malt, and vanilla. A very simple three notes. And I'm pretty positive she probably has more notes in it than that. But those three notes work so great together. 
but that's really how i got into pink mahogany is behind this fragrance right here and I'm, I use it sparingly because I just don't want to get rid of it. And I got to get out of doing that because I really like it so much. I'm scared to use it up, <laughs> but I need to wear my fragrances. And to round off my tropical scents, uh, it's one that you're going to hear a lot of people talk about when they want to talk about fruity fragrances, and that is Kirk. Kirk is a nice passion fruit, peach, pear, raspberry scent. This is your fruity scent by um, Tatiana Terenzi. Very fruity scent. Um, I don't have a comparison. And sometimes I, 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 don't, I don't even want to compare my fragrances. But Kirk uh, probably is familiar to a lot of different scents. Uh, but for me, Kirk stands on its own. I really love everything about it. And that is the round off of my tropical scents. Hello, hello. Thank you for watching the video and staying tuned. If you are enjoying this series, put a star in the comments. Uh, today we talked about, and I hope you really enjoyed it. I hope that it was interesting to you that I told you of some fragrances that you could get into that you could add to your collection but i always want to know what do you have that i need to get into what do i need to start uh smelling i have no problem with sampling or decanting or, or getting some new scents so in the topic we talked about today if you know of a fragrance i need to add tell me about it but on that note i hope you have a wonderful night and i'll see you in the next video